what is up guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video this is a part two to my previous video of my freshman year art and so i'm gonna be showing you guys the rest of my art that i have right here right next to me and without further ado let's get started so first one i have up is another watercolor project where we had to do a color scheme but sorry for the back it just says stuff on it but for this one we had to draw a certain sort of like pattern i think i have it with me i'm pretty sure i have it with me and don't forget i'm also going to show you like practice stuff that we had to do and all that okay so i have the picture right here that i used so this is the um design that i used for this project and this is what it turned out to be like so you can see it has four different color schemes for each box another one well let me just grab all the photos that, have, that were like printed out here's the photo of me that i had to draw that didn't work out that didn't turn out good, but yeah I'm just grabbing all the photos that I don't need anymore that I might use later or something. But another one we had to do in class. I wouldn't say this is a project. This is just like some practice stuff that we went through. But we had to do color pencil practice. So with that, all of these things that you could do with color pencils, like smooth hatching, cross hatching light to dark shading and tint to shade and all that so this is what this practice looks like that's not even amazing then we did zen tangles so ways to do zen tangles value scales with pencil sharpie and or color pencil then we had to facial feature practice so this is what we had to use to do our self portraits so with eyes we had to do eyes they don't look as good because i'm not really good at drawing human eyes according to their shapes and then noses my noses look like what the heck and then lips not as perfect as i imagined so i'm not really happy with that we had to do shapes with shading, so 3D forms, then just this here, all sorts of other cool stuff. And then we have the color and color and color schemes, which is what I said before we had to do for the watercolor, we had to do color schemes. So up here we have primary colors, secondary colors. And then complementary colors, analogous colors, I think that's how you say it. Then we have warm, cool colors on the back, and then just monochrome. So I love this color scheme sheet because it helps me a lot. Then elements of art, these were actually notes. Why do I need to show notes? I don't need to. Okay, back to projects, because those weren't even projects. Um, for this one, we had to draw an animal combined with two animals. It had to be your spirit animal and what, and like your, well, like, how would I explain this? Like, it's basically the animal that you are sort of like. So as I, as you guys know that my spirit animal is a wolf, it has always been because they're just so cool. And then I did this little um, test to figure out what animal I'm like, and it said a coyote. And I was like, how am I going to mix a coyote and wolf together? So I just randomly sort of did what I could. So I just did half wolf from like the face to the middle was wolf and then 
the middle to the tail was coyote. So this is what it looks like as the wolf, front part of a wolf with a really cool hairstyle. Then the back part of a coyote, which is in all white colors, which isn't too bad. And then another one that we did is we had to draw our hands and it can be in any way. Like we could do it like this, this, whatever, this. But she did say we can't do this finger. We can't just do this finger because that's why. So with that, we couldn't trace our hand, like our whole entire hand, because she knows, because she would know that we cheated. So what I did is that I just traced the sides of my hand, just these parts right here. So know how long my fingers are. And then I just did the roundness of my hand by myself and we had to do three of those and so what i came up with with one of them was this one it says legit at the top and we did have to put in all the shading and all that so there's one two and three and yes i did give them acrylics but because i just didn't want them to be my normal fingernails Okay, another one is that we had to do an imaginary animal. And, and it had to be a animal that was, it had to be a animal combined with three different animals. So it could be real or fake, fairy, fantasy. So with mine, I combined it a wolf a tiger and a dragon. So this is what it looks like. So we have the top part of a wolf, it has the moon up there because it's part wolf, you know, the bottom part of a tiger, and then the wing of a dragon. And that's what it says on the back. Well, you can't see it, but it says wolf, dragon, tiger on the back. And I actually gave it this really cool background to it because I thought that would look cool. We also had to do 3D impossible shapes we had to do one in pencil and color pencil to me this was not hard at all it was it didn't seem impossible at all when you feel if like you follow the directions to it so here's my first one that's in color pencil it's a really cool triangle with other triangles and then i do have another one and here's the one that's in pencil it's just a plain old triangle. All right, so our next one is we had to do an animal that has long legs or arms or whatever. So I tried to go for Patrick Star. Don't judge me, this is gonna look really bad. But this is what my little Patrick Star looked like. And up here it says, help, I'm shrinking, please don't hurt me. <laughs> I just had to put that in because since he's a bit taller, I thought it would be really funny if he said something totally dumb. All right, another project we had to do is with watercolor, but this time we had to go in with different ways of doing watercolor. So, this is what it looks like. We have flat, wet on wet. Wet on wet is when you just put like a layer of water and then your color on top. We have wet on dry, just wet on dry paper. We have wax resistance, um, red and green blended, yellow and purple blended, and then blue and orange blended. You have glaze, um, granite, Great, yeah, granite, I think. Salt, drip, and paper towel. I love the paper towel method because it looks so cool. Because look at it, it just looks like marbly effect. So, yeah. Our next one we had to do is that we had to draw a picture. And I just labeled this one shapes because we just had to draw a bunch of shapes on a piece of paper and then give it a sort of theme, I think. And I went for a sunset theme 
with a lot of sort of like blending sort of stuff. And I just drew a bunch of shapes on it. It doesn't look that good, but it's fine. Our second project after our portfolio, I'm actually glad I remember this, is we had to do a color wheel. So yeah, color wheel, fine. Looks fine. Then another one was an independent drawing. I am so happy with this one. I love it. I can't believe I actually did this. The only thing is I sort of messed up on it because I didn't know we had to do a one inch border for independent drawings. So I just did this on the whole entire paper. And it's this really cool eye with golden flames and just a red rose at the bottom. I think I did post this on my Instagram, so go check it out. Here, we had to do practices of our hand. So this is actually right here. This is my actual hand, like the palm of my hand without the acrylics. This is what my actual hand looks like with my palm. And then this is just what my hands to sort of my wrist would look like, but with our clips, I guess. We had to do Zen Tangles. So with Zen Tangles, I just did um, this really nice one by using like cool colors. And I just did a black heart in the middle. So it has a Zen Tangle inside the heart and on the outside of the heart. So it looks sort of cute. There we go. Then this was a final for our first and second semester that I did. I sort of just did something simple. I just wrote the word summer and then I just put like cute flowers, some that are shaded and some that actually have color in them. Here's another independent drawing that I did do the one inch border, but I sort of did, it sort of colored in the border around it. So this one here is just a rose that's sort of dripping blood because literally whatever I draw, I don't know why, but it almost rep like represents a symbol of death sometimes. I don't know why, it's just that, I don't know why, I just like to draw things that have, that involve blood, I guess. Sorry if that's creepy, but it is. So it's just, Rose, dripping blood, it has the thorns. You can see this pool of blood, the thorns are in it. Yeah. Then another thing, we had to draw a self-portrait as a cartoon. So as for me, whenever I think of cartoon, I always think of anime. So I just did mine as a sort of like cat, leopard, a leopard, a cute leopard. So I'm a brown leopard and has a little leopard print, so I look kind of cute. And then this one was my ultimate favorite. I don't know what this project did anyway. So literally this, we had to involve this with 3D blocks. And she also said we had to do a front ground, middle ground, and background. And for this one, I wanted to go for these all sort of like wolf and vampire thing. But then I just went for the whole wolf entire thing. And so this is what it looks like. I mostly used a bit, I mostly used paint, but I think it looks cool with like more paint and a little less of pencil and marker. So up here we have this wolf blooded eye. Here we have a rose. Up here's the moon, but with a wolf mouth that's really dripping, like has blood on it because it just ate something. We have the black, dark sky with mountains that are shaded. I also put blocks with claw marks on it. Then I painted this down here with like a sort of dark red to the combination of black and light red being over down here. Then I just drew a tribal wolf and then outlined it with silver gel pen. And this is what it looks like. And for the middle ground, I just used watercolor of red and black. So this is what it looks like in the red creation. All right, another independent drawing. This one, I wasn't really good at drawing anime that much because it was my first time ever drawing like a person. And this, I drew Lucy from Fairy Tale. So this is Lucy. I put her name up there. I don't know why, but yeah. 
I'm gonna put my name down here. I like what I did with my name though, cause it looks really nice. Another one we had to do a really nice, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. how do I say this? Poster or brochure, I think. Yeah, brochure, that's how we should say it. So basically you have to make something really cool to like a place. And I picked one and only California and I did this in watercolor and this is what it looks like. So I did sort of like a California sunset. I wrote California at the top and sun. I just wanted to do it in black because it looks cool. And I did little lines to represent birds and palm trees. So, Cause you know how you see like in most pictures how in paintings how they do like this sort of like sunset and then they have everything in black because it like, stands out that's what i did and then here's my other favorite one of all it was a final as well and we had to do pop art again and with this one this is almost the cutest one of all you can see it through i know but literally, um, it could be anything. I went for a cartoon, and I sort of went for Daffy Duck as a baby. So it's a little baby Daffy Duck. I know it may look like Donald Duck, but to me, I see this as Daffy. So it's the cutest thing. I really want to frame this and hang it up somewhere. It's just the cutest thing ever. Then our last independent, last draw, bleh, last project for this video is the is my april independent drawing that i turned in that i thought i was that i thought was gonna be turned in late but nope didn't i'm actually glad about it so with this one i just drew a random eyeball and yes this one's dripping blood too don't judge i just i was literally this was like in a hurry this was like almost close to the last minute so i just did this like whatever so i just drew whatever so yeah Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the rest of my artwork and stuff that we had to practice. But anyways, guys, if you want to see more videos like these, comment below. I have lots of other artwork that I've done and I would love to show uh, to you guys because I know you guys like my art. I'm not good yet, but I will get there soon and I'm actually glad because I'm taking intermediate art next year as a sophomore so yeah so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys are having a great summer and I'll see you guys in my next video